Hey kiddos, so today we're gonna reread this book, Planting a Rainbow by Ellis Elert. And I want you to pay attention to the colors you see in the book, okay? We're focusing on the colors. Okay. Every year, my mom and I plant a rainbow. In fall, we buy some buds and plant them in the ground. So over here we have a orange tiger lily, a red tulip, an orange tulip, a yellow daffodil, a blue hyacinth, a purple crocus, and a purple bearded iris. I wonder what that's gonna look like. We order seeds from catalogs and wait all winter long. Look at those beautiful colors. So we have the Firelox. See how it's purple and it's orange in the middle. Morning Glory is blue and white with a little yellow in the middle. Zinnia is different shades of orange. Aster is purples and yellows. And then Cornflowers are those beautiful blues. Marigolds are also different colors of yellow. And then a Daisy is yellow and brown in the middle. Remember, we're focusing on color. For spring to warm the soil and sprout the buds. Remember, for a plant to be able to grow, they need to be in the top layer of soil. They need water, and they need sunlight and air for them to grow above the ground, right? And look at, they all grow at different um, paces. So like this one over here, the, it's just a little, right? And then as you go, they get a little bit bigger, and then this one already has a flower. Right? Then it's time to go to the garden center to select some seedlings. So here we have a rose. This one's a poppy, a delphinium, a violet, a pansy, a fern, and a carnation. Where do you guys think you can buy all this stuff? Where do you think you go to buy flowers? There's a couple places you can buy flowers, but where do you think you buy all kinds of flowers? Did any of you guys say Home Depot? That's where I would go to, I would go to Home Depot. We sow the seeds and set out the plants in soil. So see how some of them are in the ground and then some of them are in pots. As long as they have soil, they're okay and they'll grow. They don't have to necessarily be in the ground. They can be in a pot and you can put soil in the pot. It just has to have soil for it to be able to grow. And watch the rainbow grow. See, look at how beautiful that is. Right? All those different colors and different kinds of plants, none of them look the same. They're all different colors and they're different shapes. That would be a really cool garden to grow. And grow and grow. I don't know about you guys, but I think this is my favorite page. I love the colors on it. I love all of the different colors. And all the different shapes of the flowers too. They're all different, right? Look at these ones over here are smaller. And then these ones up here grow really tall, but they grow a lot on the same stem. We have red flowers. And we have tulips, carnations, and a rose. And orange flowers. We have, this one's a tulip also, a zinnia. Um, this one right here is a tiger lily, and that's a poppy. And some yellow flowers. Oh, let me get into the frame. So right here we have a daisy, a marigold, and a daffodil. Those are beautiful. We grow some green. Those are called ferns. So see how they're not all the same color green? They're all different kinds of greens. Beautiful. 
and some blue flowers. So remember the one that looks like a star in the middle? Those are called morning glories. This is the hyacinth. Oh no, I'm sorry, this is the delphinium. This one is the hyacinth, and then these are the corn flowers. Do they look like corn? No, they don't look like corn. Okay. And some purple flowers too. We have the crocus, the phylox, we have the iris is this one, the violets, the aster, and then the pansy. All summer long, we pick them and bring them home. Look at how absolutely beautiful that is. I wish I had that in my kitchen table. Those would be so pretty, huh? And when summer is over, we know we can grow our rainbow again next year. Okay, so I want you guys to remember the colors you saw in here, and I want you today for your writing to explain to me if you could grow a garden like this, how many colors would you have? And how many flowers would you have? Would your flowers be really, really, really big? Or would they be kind of smaller? Would you have a whole bunch of just one? Or would you have a whole bunch of a whole lot of them? That didn't make any sense, did it? Okay, let's try that again. Would you have just one in your garden? Or would you have all of them in your garden? All right? That's what I want you guys to write about today. I want you to focus on your colors and what kind of colors you would grow in your own garden if you could grow them in your garden. Okay? All right, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay? Bye.